All right, folks, listen, I'm super excited to go ahead and talk about this product right here. Listen, this is a Drio Chef Maker, right? I've been through a lot of different types of uh, air fryers, been trying different ones, people send them out to me. But this one here that I found, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is fire. And guess what, folks, we about to get it. Now check this out. The Drio Chef Maker uses advanced combi cooking technology for top-notch culinary results. Just insert the temperature probe, add water, and select a program in chef mode. The appliance smartly adjusts temperature, heat, and water for consistently excellent meals. To even break it down in layman terms, listen, you get restaurant quality meals out of this Drio Chef Maker. Okay, now listen, Drio simplifies cooking with easy to select, you know, functions and step-by-step -step instructions. It also offers smart app control for added versatility and convenience. By now, you guys have been hearing me keep saying combi cooking. So what is combi cooking? Listen, it has three features in one that allows you to cook with steam, convection, or a combination of both. Okay, so look, as you guys saw, you know what I mean, using kosher salt, I like the coarse grain. Obviously, I'm doing a steak. It has the bone inside. This is the ribeye, right? This right here, I'm gonna call this, this a co-star, because the real star is this machine right here. This is the, chef, the Drio Chef Maker, right? So, this right here is super simple to use. Listen, I want to call it an intelligent device, right? Meaning it makes, you know, it changes and modifications to the cook all done through the computer. And I promise you, I haven't had no issues as of yet, right? And most of all, you guys are gonna be amazed because it's gonna sear. I got it, folks. Yes, it is. Watch. All right, so look, after we get our probe inserted, obviously you guys just see me you know, go ahead and put water in the top, right? So now you wanna go ahead and take the drawer out. I'll put it right there so you guys can see it. And then what we wanna do is, listen, this, the probe connects up here on the top, right? You can see right here, there's a little indentation. That's how it goes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this, right? Oh yes, yeah, starting to get right. And we're just gonna stick this in there just like that. Now it's been seasoned on both ends, on both sides, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in like this. It kind of like snaps in magnetically and that right there, that does it. So now I just tuck that in like that. Now I'm finna show you just how easy this is. All right, so you guys can look at that right there. I'll bring it, look at that. That's a nice piece of meat. You can see all of the marbling in there, right? So now we just go ahead and put this tray in the inside. All right, so the rear bar is inside, right? So listen, when I tell you it's dummy proof, listen, the machine gonna do all of the work, right? So it's on chef mode automatically. You can see the dot and you can see it's got bold writing right up at the top, right? It's highlighted. Go ahead and hit the play button, then it moves to the next. Everybody know that steak is beef, right? So we hit next, right? Look, it says beef brisket, beef burger patty, beef jerky, beef short ribs. You can use these arrows. Let's just find and let's just see. Look, I just seen prime rib, flank steak, New York strip, and guess what, folks? Steak ribeye. If you pay attention right there, I hope the camera's picking that up right there. See how it says probe and water? When you're in chef mode, probe and water will be in use. This is just another reminder and it says it's required. You already seen that we done all of that. So now I hit the play. Then you can see right here, ribeye steak. It says using the grilling rack. We already using that. These are right here. They got a little highlighted area right here. These are just the tips. So now we hit play. And now how do we want it? We want medium rare, medium, medium well, or well done. Some of these people behind this camera right now want them well done, and I know y'all out there want to see it medium rare. I'm gonna be honest with you, I know y'all like to see it probably like medium, but I'm gonna go ahead and do medium rare, right? Then you can do the sous vide flavor, right? That's 45 to 75 minutes, or we can go with the classic flavor. We can go, if I move it up right here, this is 10 to 30 minutes, classic flavor, right? And I want you guys to pay attention to this crust that's gonna come off of this. Remember, it's gonna give us a sear. That's everything. And then listen, it's gonna be on here, right here, where it says sous vide flavor, right? And look at the time, 45 minutes to 75 minutes. You have an option to go up to the classic flavor when it goes between 10 minutes and 30 minutes. But we finna go for that sous vide flavor. Listen, we want restaurant quality. You know, we want that turnout to be just like as if it was we went to the restaurant, right? So then you go ahead and hit start. It says ensure the tank has water. It'll walk it, you know, it'll do all its checks and bounds on its own. And then it's gonna give you a time and then we just go from there. So look, after like a couple of minutes, it calculated, did whatever it's gonna do. I tell you, it's intelligent, right? It gave me a time, 40 minutes. We just let it work and we finna come back and take a look at this folks. But look, we are gonna be looking for that crust. All right, so when the timer goes off, I want you to take a look at that right there. 
Look at that. You tell me if that's not ready for a photo shoot, when I say restaurant quality, that's what it gives you. All right, so if you guys pay attention, remember I kept talking about the top and the sear? Now I kind of like, it was done for about three minutes before I actually opened the tray. You know what I mean? Then when I pulled it out, I let it completely rest. But look at that right there, look at that color. That right there, when I tell you it's ready for a show, you know, for a photo shoot, that it is. Oh, and also you guys can see it's been resting because you can see how it started to release some of the juices here. But then after a while, then it absorbs some of it back. So you want to at least let your, uh, for me, I like to let my, my steaks rest for about 10 minutes. Hey, check it out. I didn't hate a few of these pieces already and I almost forgot that I'm filming, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this piece right here. You guys come on here and look at that right there. I'll just show you how it hang, cook perfect. Look how juicy that is, right? Look at that. Tell me that's not done right, right? Then I can just take it here and we just give it a little pull. Look at that. You wanna talk about tender steak? This is ribeye. It's that good stuff, folks. But I ain't gonna lie, the machine did all of the work. Hey, you know what? I'm not finna talk no more. Cheers, y'all. If I did anything other than what y'all seeing on my face right now, I'd be lying. I done already had a couple of these already and it's good. Mm. Oh yeah, it does fish too. I'm gonna be using my A seasoning, right? Look, pork, poultry, fish, and more. Great flavor, excellent seasoning, and don't forget, it's low sodium. Check this out. It's completely dishwasher safe. So there you have it. The machine did restaurant style, you know, surf and turf. This is it. Crispy, especially when you look at the skin down here. But it's been sitting in this juices. Look at that right there. It don't make that noise like it did before. But trust me, when I brought it out of there, that right there was fire. And I'm sorry, y'all, there ain't no more steak because, listen, everybody had to have some. So with that being said, I'll put the link down in the description box, probably pin it in the number one comment. Now, you guys know I don't get behind a whole lot of products, but this right here, you know I'm down with it because I love the footprint. And guess what, folks? It's finna go somewhere. Now, with that being said, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to take this one, and I'm out. Peace.